I guess in my case, the fundamental question that we are trying to address at the moment is how ecological variables um, shape the evolution of different defense strategies and when one type of defense is favored over another and how that impacts the co-evolution and coexistence of hosts and their parasites, um, of course, focusing on bacteria and their phages. Uh, but one example of that, I think, um, you know, was a work that I did as a, as a postdoc where we found that um, the force of infection, so how many viruses there are, will tip the balance in the evolution of two really fundamental defense strategies. So from CRISPR to surface-based resistance, and we really understood also why that was. Uh, so everything to do with the way costs of resistance manifest, uh, which in the case of surface-based resistance are fixed, and in the case of CRISPR-based resistance are induced. Uh, meaning that the cost increases as the frequency of infection increases. Uh, so this, you know, was for me at least a very important insight uh, that applied, uh, you know, to, to this model and, and hopefully to other models as well. Uh, the theory behind it is very general uh, and, you know, you do see these um, constitutive and induced fitness costs associated with defenses uh, all over the place. So I think it really helped us to understand what's going on in a lot more detail. Uh, very often, you know, intuition kind of betrays you, right? I mean, you've got a gut feeling that something works in a certain way, but once you start to formalize that argument into a mathematical model, you know, the flaws in the intuition become apparent and it really helps to get to the bottom of the, uh, of the issue, I think.